All right, so I'm gonna try and give this a go at explaining what I did here. So on my Corvette, the rocker channel was completely rotted away. On the driver's side, there was almost nothing left. Um, and I, what I have is a 73 uh, Corvette convertible. Um, and once I lost that rocker channel, there, there wasn't much or anything at all really to line up the the firewall windshield hinge pillar area with the back of the the vet so what I did here is I created a jig that I'm going to show you here in a minute um, to to help align these two so what I did to to make this jig and make it in such a way that uh, there wasn't going to be any play um, when it was bolted to uh, what's left of my birdcage. I created some some hinge plates here, um, drew them up in CAD, took some some measurements of of the uh, factory bolt holes and the locations, and I made these plates. I had these plates made um, 3D printed first just to make sure they'd fit, and then uh, had them made out of um, had them CNC'd out of some steel. Um, and what they do here is they slide into these spots for the the door hinges. And they don't they have very little play as I found uh, with all of the the bolt holes um, when they were stamped. Um, there's a little bit of variation between them all. So uh, these have just enough play so that they'll plug into um the the other other sets of bolt holes but this gives me a platform here to start building my jig off of um, the rocker channel on the vet has these alignment holes that people are pretty familiar with um, therefore lining the body up on the frame when you're when you're joining the two and what I decided to do as well was was make some some uh, some parts here that basically plug into these holes and they give you another uh, another uh, a point to um, create the jig off of so that you, you're able to to bolt in a new rocker channel and uh, and be able to locate it um, correctly with the, the windshield post and the and the lock pillar back here. Um, these these pass through the holes and on the underside I have a laser cut washer that goes on the bottom side and you basically bolt the rocker channel in place because I was uh, lucky enough to find a set of um, new old stock rocker channels um, on Facebook Marketplace uh, so um, I went and picked those up, and this is what I'm going to be installing in my vet pretty soon here. But using the same pickup points, you know, there and there, and and with this jig I'm about to show you, I should be able to just bolt up uh, my what's left of my birdcage to this rocker, and uh, and uh, hopefully line everything up and be able to just weld it and make it a an easy an easy job. So here's the jig that I made. It's it's nothing fancy. Um, just went to, to Lowe's Home Depot and got some some one inch box tube, uh, square tube. Um, what I did was, as you can see, welded on my hinge plates, um, and the back side here basically just slides down onto the uh, the lock pillar there, um, and it will align the front windshield hinge pillar area with the back of my vet. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It plugs in to the existing holes up there and back here. Um, and it bolts with the uh, the striker bolt in there to secure the lock pillar um, to this jig. Um, now I don't have the center uh, alignment parts in right now. I'll show you that in a minute. They basically just plug in. Um, I'll grab one here. 
So here's one of the uh, remo removable pieces of my uh, my jig. Um, this piece here, obviously, it has the the end in it for plugging into the the rocker channel. Um, it basically comes in, slides in up in here, slide it down a little bit, and then I'm try and get a video of this while I push down on it. It then goes and There we go. You can see it plugs into the, the rocker real well. And it has no movement. And then what I do is uh, I throw a bolt in up here just to bolt it in place to keep it from moving. Um, I have the rare one in. So now I have the uh, middle parts of the jig here in place. Um, I'll get over to the other side here. <clears throat> You can see that they come down and, and plug right in, which will line up the rocker channel, hopefully, uh, to the uh, front and back of this birdcage here. Um, these these pieces I made, the removable sections here, they come out pretty easily. Um, you can kind of lift them up pull on them a little bit and they slide out I made them removable because once I weld in the replacement rocker channel um, it'd be very difficult to get this jig off the birdcage without cutting it um, because um, you know these these parts I made here they they plug in so um, need to be, need to be able to make this thing removable and that's pretty much it um, I think uh, I think this weekend I may be able to give this a shot and I may be able to uh, weld some new rocker channels into my uh, convertible vet.